When I walked in this house, I just felt it. Newly engaged Pompton Plains resident Anthony Anello says he and his fiance were looking for a fixer upper. The good thing is you can customize it. Yeah, the floor I did myself, you know, running the, the, the speaker wire, I did that myself. Right. I put a, uh, on the tile floor, I put in the whole back half of the house. Relief for Anello because it took eight months of searching and several offers to find and close on a home. They simply kept getting outbid. It's like the wild, wild west right now with uh, the sellers pretty much experiencing bid bidding wars and buyers pretty much coming in at full ask or over. Anello's real estate agent, Christine Bermuda Steinlal, says it reminds her of the 2006 market. Low inventory, high demand. People paying upwards of $60,000 over asking price. Do you fear what happened back then will happen now in terms of a potential crash? I don't see a major crash only because there are so many guidelines to getting these loans. Before they were just handing them out to anybody. Now they're handing them out to buyers that are extremely qualified. So you got top dog buyers against bidding against each other that are, you know, have good jobs, saved all their money, you know, it's tough. <laughs> There's plenty of first time home buyers out there that qualify, right? They meet, they meet all the requirements, they have the money down um, to qualify for the loan, but they're being shut out because there's multiple offers on the table and people are um, bidding over the asking price. Robert White is president and elect of New Jersey Realtors. He says what's happening in Pompton Plains is happening all across New Jersey. The luxury market, second home, vacation market, we're seeing people um, that would typically pay cash now getting a mortgage because mortgage money is, is a lot less then divesting their entire portfolio to come to the table with with cash in a mid market or a move up market, you know that six to nine hundred thousand dollar range. We are seeing um, people coming to the table either as cash or with more money down. We're seeing in upwards of 25, 35% down payments. They're trying to make themselves the best possible buyer uh, for the property. Bermuda Steimel says a lot of her clients are millennials who saved up money waiting for a moment like this one, a pandemic that makes you reevaluate apartment living versus suburban life. The other part of it is low interest rates. So sure, in like June 2020, it wasn't too bad, but then I would say by like July, it was insane. Because it's a seller's market, she says you have to be innovative with offers. For this home, she offered the seller as is, except for anything hazardous, structural, or mechanical. With that strategy, they were able to pay 5000 under listing price. I have been in town my whole life. My whole family's in town. Uh, you know, my business is in town, family business, Freedom Fence, right on 23, right over here. Uh, no reason to move, you know. We, Always loved it here. Anthony Anello spent $20,000 more than he originally wanted to pay, but he says that's why they've been saving. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.